Welcome to Wings of Arrow. Today our topic is problem based on unsymmetrical bending. Here comes a question. Figure represents a symmetric I section subjected to bending moment of 3 kN meter is applied in a plane at an angle of 30 degree from the x axis. Calculate the bending stress at all the points. This is a figure displayed in your screen and from here what they have said that from this point there from the x axis 30 degree incline a plane there a moment is taking place of 3 kilo newton meter. So from there we can resolve the moments in x axis and y axis. When we resolve the moment in the x and y we get as mx equals to 2.59 kN meter and my 1.5 kN meter because when you resolve the moment along this we will have the cos 30 and the vertical direction will have a sin 30 so that's why we are multiplying with cos 30 and sin 30. Now our first step comes we need to split the elements 1 section 1 2 and section 3. In this after splitting we can see a former table. In the table we can see we have written for each elements B, D, A, X bar and Y bar. This X bar and Y bar will be an individual centroid point for an individual element. We have split it. Now here the element 1 the B is 50 D is 5 and for the second element the B is 5 and the depth is 50 similarly the B is 50 and the depth is 5 now accordingly we found the area for the respective elements now time to find X bar how to find the X bar now the X bar is the center of this element 1 now but you have to consider from the this reference line the end the end structure of this so from here to here what is the half of this distance center center point that is 50 divided by 2 will get a 25 similarly since it is in symmetric section the line of symmetry is in y axis so our x value will be same now considering the y bar how to consider the y bar y bar is we have to take a reference from this point to this point so how we can find this total is 55 now half of this is 25 uh, and divided by 2 because from the center point to this point is 2.5 so 2.5 plus 55 we guess 57.5 similarly 2 now this total this element is 50 half of it will get 25 25 but we have to take from reference from here to here this point here to here so we have to see find is our value is 50, uh, 25 plus 5 we get as 30 30 now from here to here half of it so what will be our value is 5 divided by 2 that is 2.5 so 2.5 now after that centroid now we know this x bar formula apply it, substitute all the values and we get as x bar is 25 similarly y bar formula now substitute all the values in that y bar formula we get the centroid of the at enter i section next is we need to find moment of inertia that is ixx iyy and ixy now this is a formula for ixx we get as substitute after substituting the value we get as 4.77 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 similarly finding the value of iyy and substituting the value of iyy we get the value as 1.34 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 similarly ixy this is a formula for ixy after uh, substituting the values we get as 0 because this 
i x y when when the i x y is zero it represents the body is symmetric either for saving our time uh, for the time of exam you can either substitute and see or you can directly write that i x y is zero since the body or the section is symmetric by k method we have is sigma b equals to y of this formula m x i y y plus m y i x y minus x m x i x y plus m y i x x divided by i x x i y y minus i x y square. Now we know all the formula of everything. So after substituting, we get this equation. This is a general equation for this section. That is. Sigma b equals to 0.54 of y minus 1.12 of x. Now, after this, what we have to do is we have to make that a centroid as a origin. Now we know the centroid x bar is our 25 and y is 30, so we get the centroid point as 0 comma 0. Now from here we have the equation that is sigma b equals to 0 0.54 of y minus 1.12 of x now from here we need to find the coordinate of x and y for the particular sections we will find the important section that is a b c d e and f now we have the table here of this how to make the coordinates now we know that along the x-axis when we go towards the left hand side we get as negative and the right hand side is positive and when you go upward we get as positive and downward we have a negative now consider this section is the centroid point is on the origin and now we have to look at this coordinate now the point a the distance from here this point to this point will be our minus of 25 because the total is 50 we have taken the centroid if you look back this is our 25 minus 25 because it's locating on the left hand side left hand side now similarly minus then how much upward the total distance from top to here is 60 now here to here is our 30 now then what will be remaining topward another 30 so positive of 30 because the upward direction is positive now similarly a and b in the line in the same plane so we have the x value is minus 25 same value now how much deflected downwards here now we have to find the b point is from here to here this point so our value is that is total is 30 from here to here subtract 5 so we get 25 positive and this individual value you apply here and we get as 44.2 and similarly for the b point you substitute here 41.5 so similarly the c point you see here from distance from here to here is just minus of 2.5 and the distance is belongs to the same that is b and c lie in the same point so we have the 25 now apply this value in this equation and you get as 16.3 newton per mm square similarly the other points are also followed the same and from here we can obtain the maximum bending stress at the point a that is we are getting as 44.2 newton per mm square thank you for watching if you have further inquiry drop down to the mail wings of arrow at gmail.com thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates take care stay blessed